Let's have a here, see the thumb, thumb from Scooby so start the countdown in three, two, one, Tetris! I've been wondering all this time about the countdowns. So I, I've been wondering all this time about the countdowns. Why are we doing it in English? I mean, to our own Tetris? Yeah, I, I, think, think, we're doing French. I think it's fancier. <laughs> uh, yes, but in French is not the best of the world. It's like, I would say it's not the yellow of the egg. So um, I would prefer to stick to English. Maybe yeah. maybe you can write one in French, one in English, one in German, one in Spanish. Yeah. It's for Mark here. Mark going for the yeah. uh, beam setups here. And he is 760 points ahead of Scooty. Um, no, Scooty now has a one Tetris lead. And Mark is loading here. And let's see who can do better here in level 18. Comedy, it's a bit of a lead here for Scooty of <laughs> Tetris. Half a Tetris if it had nice in consideration. So small lead here for Scooty. Still still enough for the players to just talk to each other. So Stanislav is asking if uh, if Mark is rolling and he is indeed. Yes. He was tapping a little bit at the beginning of the tournament, but he switched to rolling because he became more comfortable with it. And he has gotten some good results. Mm -hmm. yeah, he started rolling a couple of years ago and since then got more and more comfortable with it and now it's like if he wants to have fun, he plays jazz, and if he wants to win, he plays uh, rolling. So, of course, he plays with rolling here because he wants to win as many games here as he just can. Of course, he wants to go to the finals, uh, but I think he's already happy, happy if he can win like two games, maybe. But there's still the one Tetris lead for Scooty we saw, saw in the beginning, like 20 lines ago. Next Tetris here for Mark. 5,000 point difference here, nearly the same lines. Next Tetris here for Scooty. Yeah, this is early game, looking clean from both players. So uh, another bits for bits Mark, yeah. Indeed. Mark is here, really showing that he can do for the funny setups in Scooty Sport. Without funny setups, not looking that good. He has two small holes, it's kind of like a face that he has there. Um, yeah, but he gets the Tetris and is now triple ready. Could get the triple now. Uh, one high, yeah, he goes going for the one high now. Whereas Mark is still in the cleaner process of his funny uh, bit setup he used. Which means that Scooty now has a two Tetris lead and can probably increase it a bit depending on when the next long bar comes. We are now in the drought. We have a 16, 17 piece drought. There's the long bar for Scooty and that was for Mark as well. Yeah, we're seeing a pretty even game. Scooty leading by just two Tetrises. Mark, we're having some very creative stacking, going for a nice uh, spin and clean board. He's going to play it from the bottom while Scooty has been playing from row two, getting the second uh, a row to Tetris. Yeah, but Scooty now 60,000 points, that's so about two Tetris. Uh, Scooty slowly but surely putting on the pressure on Mark that he has to catch up. It's not like really fast, we are like 60 lines deep and it's like three Tetris difference. But that can maybe turn to like 10 Tetris um, in level 19. And at that point, Mark is kind of lost, so he needs to start pushing on the gas pedal. He needs to show that he can catch up to Scooty in the next couple of lines that's i think he wants to get as close in the next six lines as he can because 19 it's going to be even harder for him to stay close to scooty yeah it's, it's, it's going to be interesting matchup with these players that are known to be pretty aggressive so mm -hmm. it's, it's it, it, like especially scooty is gonna as i said put some pressure on mark but mark is also playing some aggressive play to avoid burning as much as he can to catch up to him i mean if you have seen uh, Blue Leafs, uh, scooty play before you were like how does he, or why does he do that? It's so aggressive and it just works out. He's like, he magically knows when he can be a, like really aggressive. And I feel like that's something where he has the edge on Mark. Just like the game tends to know when he can play really aggressive. Right. <laughs> and it's now 100 KD tier for Scooty. So Scooty getting the much, much better Tetris red. Also, as we see, it's like a 20%, yeah. Yeah, for those wanting to know, uh, Mark and Scooty are having a discussion about who's aggressive or not. <laughs> I mean, actually, both play pretty aggressive because they just have to. They know if they, if they don't, their opponent will overtake them. Yeah, Mark now going for the left world here. Yeah. And Ted was for Scooty. Mark yeah. waiting for the long bar. Yeah. We're approaching transition, across 100 lines already. So players so far with clean boards. And Batsculi has a very strong lead. Uh, yeah, it's a 5 to 6 set was lead here. It's 
depending on the lines, because the two lines of parts, five and a half tetra seed for Scooty, close to the transition. Mark going for the double long bar, well on the left. And he burns two lines, trying to get the Tetris. He's waiting for the long bar. Where's the long bar for Mark? There's the long bar for Mark. And it's still a 100,000 point lead here for Scooty, of course, because Scooty just gets the Tetris as well. Uh, we can see three more lines for both of them. Now, two more uh, Tetris here for Scooty. And once Mark Lee has oh, one, just there for one the long line for Mark, and transition is coming in the next couple of Tetris for these players. One more Tetris for Scooty, and two more Tetris for Mark. And it's nearly 150k lead here for Scooty, so that's what, seven Tetris? Was What's it? Uh, six and a half, seven Tetris lead here for Scooty in the transition. Yeah, 586 the... transition for Scooty, and it's gonna be Indian. just uh, six Tetris lead pretty much. for 120k lead here in the transition score. Small misdrops here for Scooty, so he needs to burn a couple of lines that could be the chance for Mark to maybe catch up by one Tetris. But no, Mark also has to burn, he couldn't get the Tetris. Ooh, Scooty with a small misdrop, then he needs something for the left side, he gets the long bar over. And can soon um, get to his main like issue in the middle. Yeah, yeah now he needs a lo uh, long bar. Yeah, and Mark has caught up a bit. It's now only 100k difference. And there's a long bar for Scooty. Scooty gets a triple. Still not Tetris ready. And he still needs to dig to the bottom of this. Yeah, right now this is a great opportunity for Mark to catch up, as you were saying. He's already now 80,000 points away and now only 55,000, so just two Tetris behind Scooty, which is a good position for Mark. Scooty is still struggling, going for the T-Spin, getting it, and then a double. Scooty yeah. just navigating through this board, but Mark is having a great time here with a clean board. Yes, yeah, so from the 7 Tetris lead we saw earlier, it's now down to about oh, 2 Tetris lead. Um, yeah, so Mark showing Scooty that... 18 is not all that matters here, but Mark knows that Scooty's 29 is better than his 29, so he needs to get ahead before level 29. It's not that much more to then, he has to still catch up. Next set for Scooty, Scooty is clean, Mark now needs to win a couple of lines. This might be when the lead gets a bit bigger again, depending on when the longbar comes. There's the longbar, but Scooty couldn't use it. Scooty is now Tetris ready, waiting for the longbar, so is Mark. And Tetris for Mark. And now Tetris for Scooty, Mark going for the j -tuck. Yeah, and Mark is just one Tetris away, all this hard work is paying off. The next Tetris for Scooty, yeah. But Mark now with a small, not so good placement of the pinkish uh, S piece there, that's gonna cost him a bit of pace. <laughs> right now we got, yeah, Scooty regained the lead. Uh, regain some lead here at 755, uh, Mark at 698, so Max will be hard to get for Mark Scooty already on his way there. It's about a two Tetris lead for Scooty currently, and he has a couple of friends ahead, so if you take the lines of conservation, what like a uh, one Tetris lead even. Next Tetris here for Mark, and yeah, Mark needs to get clean. He's 100k behind Scooty, he is too high. He can go for the Tetris, of course. There's the dirty Kalim A Tetris for Mark. And Mark, I think he's now trying to get through the bottom of his deck. Yeah, he's now open. Yeah, Medra's saying, Hi, Mark, you can do it. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Scooty now needs to clean a couple of lines. He is now open again and is waiting for the long work. 30, 31, 32, 33, oh, no. 34, 30, 34 piece drought. That's a really long drought. Mark just halfway through the drought now. And Mark oh, does get the... No. Oh, that's the top out after Mark doesn't get the LPs. Scooty about to go for the max, but there's the drought. Oh, he my gets the triple. Goodness. He transitions into level 29. That's yeah, the top no out bars. for Scooty as well. What did you want to do? What, what were you trying to do? So yeah, like... Thank you very much for people watching the US early in the morning on Sunday. I know some of you may have stayed up like very late. Hope you are enjoying. And if you need to rest, well, I mean, hopefully you don't miss out on the finals. Kings when it's saying it something. We should do the hearts first. The hearts should come first. Yeah. yeah, and we can now see some nice uh French TV documentation. I don't know where they're from, but documentary on uh stream. So yeah, and Scooty waving. That's the script you want here. What? It's an English documentary. English or something. Uh, yes. 
Yeah, so that's what there you mean. is the thumbs. So I think they just want to play. So I would say we got the second green game. Yoshi. More Yoshis have been added to oh, the Yoshi's. scene. Ooh, and more Yoshis yeah. on uh, Scooty's TV to make that sure. Yeah. Okay, well, we can it... start the next game, I think, in three, three two, one, Tetris! We are underway for game number two. Markway came pretty close to catch up to Scooty, but Scooty just managed to manage to draw that was almost fatal. Yeah, the fatal then... so draw from Mark when he didn't get the um, A piece over, he missed dropped it, and that was it for Mark. But maybe he can come back in this game and Simon Ted was here, show us that he can take a game of Scooty or two or three or maybe even four. 8 p.m. in Tokyo, people watching on Sunday evening in yeah. uh, from Japan. So thank you very much for watching. Minoflub is asking for a squad on Tetris. We'll be looking into that and maybe for game of three. 7 a.m. in Kansas. A blue Scooty Grandpa watching from Kansas. So yeah, we got lots of family watching uh, either live or otherwise. Let's see how things go. Oh, and Mark no. tops out. He doesn't get the long bow, but with the left, he hangs it. And that's the top out here for Mark. Very unfortunate early top out there for Mark. And that's going to put Scooter in a very comfortable position. You know, maybe that was a punishment for us not doing the countdown in French. So, Mark, you apologize. We didn't do the countdown in French. That cost you the game. So, this time we will do the countdown in uh, French. Yeah. 2 p.m. in Austria. I mean, we're the same time in Austria. Mm -hmm. Central. Okay, so uh, once they're ready, we can do the French count. Should be tres de un, something like that. I, my French Trois. is not well. Trois. Trois. Okay, it's <laughs> not my French is not that good. So uh, let's let's try the French count. On it's tre, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's, uh, that that's was perfect. I, my French is perfect, I know. Okay. <laughs> We're okay. gonna do it in French and then let's go through German next time. So, okay. Trois, deux, un, deux, Ah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Next time we're gonna do it in German to, to, to appease the cup. I <laughs> know uh, it's fine. I, I will try to remember French from now on. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe I will uh, quickly download Duolingo. Yeah. Uh, we this. start off with, with a draw with 18 piece draw already. That's really. Oh, oh no. yeah. Those early draws are, can be very dangerous, especially when, when you're not well prepared for them. But finally, there's a Tetris 4. Both of them? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they are just. Uh, the game is just showing us that the, these players have to focus the whole game. They can't be like, oh, yeah, Asian is not a. I should all no here at the CWC France you have to focus all time all day long. Another drought happening here, but it's not yeah. a long one. It was only like fifteen pieces. It's nothing compared to the one before. And the next set was is yeah, it's but it's been key for for uh for Mark to keep the aggression or to mm. maintain a very slim margin because he knows if he start bur burning as uh, he starts burning uh. Scooty is gonna catch up to him and actually like start in the lead on top of him. So that's that's the challenge, that's the pressure. As we talk about pressure, Scooty just a tiny bit more efficient, same lines and 760 point lead. Next set is here for Scooty. I mean, you can theoretically catch up 760 points with push down, but as if these players, these rolls are gonna push down. Yeah, it's a Tetris lead now for Mark, now a bit of use here for Scooty. Uh, Mark going, just as I said, that you don't go for pushdown points as a roller, he went for two pushdown points. Yeah, he just wants to make the margin as slimmer and mm. as slimmer as possible. I mean, for the tiny chance that you have the same points, um, yeah, you can sometimes win by the two pushdown points. We saw that. Uh, not today, but like sometimes they yeah, play like really like happens. just 60, 70 piece. Uh, well, actually, uh, I think there was a point between Macy and uh, and and Mark that they were tied. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I mean, it's split seconds, but still. Oh, yeah, for split seconds. Yeah, we had that happen, but I meant like viewing the top outs. I can't recall that. Um, and see those that Scooty is again one Tetris here ahead of Mark, so... It's really dangerous for Mark. Mark gets the limber over and gets a dirty Tetris in row three. Left well. 
And next service here for Scooty, Mark is now open again. And waiting for the long bar, which will hopefully come soon. Yeah, Mark, uh, oh, we had some connection issues. Hold on. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the NTC experience, everyone. It's fine most of the time. But it gets, gets scared when it, there's some small hiccup. <laughs> But uh, the foreground means background is not on stream, so I you think can it's feel it. now on stream. Uh, it was just really quiet. It's a bit loud now. Yeah, it's a pretty no. That's pretty quiet. You have to bring it to like a minus twenty or something. It's very nice video. I'm I mean, okay. I already had it like that, and I was told that it's far too loud. Oh, minus twenty. Then I had to turn it like really down. Okay, so I think you oh, can now. Oh, going pretty high here. And, and so is Mark. Mark has got long over. Ah. That's the vote for Mark. Mark tops out, and that's the three zero here for Scooby. I hope you heard that. And yeah, we are now hearing the crowd chant for the reverse. We saw that earlier on CT2 with uh, Mark and Mace. Was it? Um, yeah, there was a reverse. Yeah, there was a reverse suit for Mark, so maybe Mark just needs that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what? Colin said, I mean, Colin Christman is one of uh, an infamous uh, restrictor because his seats are cursed and they get oh. very bar and G. <laughs> like, actually, like in the finals for CWC, he pretty yeah, much I remember. Caused, like. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay, but we will not have as many cursed seats here, I hope. So, um, match point for Scooty in three, two, two one, one, Tetris! Tetris. And 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 Franklin Thumb, uh, Franklin Thumb is concerned about her points bet on Mark, <laughs> but we'll see. We saw a reverse sweep on the previous round from Mark, so don't count him out. And he is doing his best to recover. And Mark sometimes just need like a couple of games to get like the gear up, yeah. to get the focus on, and to be like, yes, now I can't find it properly. We saw that. Really often, I'd not only like in this tournament, but like at most tournaments that Mark plays, he just needs like that couple of uh, games to get his mindset, to get his hands in the correct state. So now we can hopefully see Mark so a bit longer than before. It's currently a 16, 15,000 point for Scooty. Scooty not being able to get the Tetris here. As now Tetris open, gets the long bar and Tetris for Mark. Mark now ahead of Scooty. Next Tetris here for Scooty. They are about a yeah, 17,000 points ahead. Two lines different. It's Neck and yeah. neck. Mark Tetris ready, gets the long bar, gets the Tetris. Scooty waiting for the long bar. And next Tetris here for Mark, next Tetris here for Scooty. Scooty now needs to get Tetris ready pretty soon if he wants to um, use the same long bars. And I feel like that's gonna be a long bar later for Scooty. Yeah, Tetris for Mark, Tetris for Scooty. Yeah, at this point, uh, I was saying, checking the commentary, they were saying, uh, the chat, I mean, Mindful of saying, if Mark loses, it's because Jakob forgot to the countdown in German. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it's all my fault. I, indeed. <laughs> yeah, small lead here for Scooty. 15,000 points, same lines. Next set was here for Mark. Scooty now Tetris... Oh, not Tetris ready. It's not Tetris ready for this number. Guess the Tetris. Yeah, we've got a neck and neck game happening. Uh, J dependent for dependency there for Mark, however, so that's gonna yes, force him to up here for Scooty, but he used an attack to Mark turn it around. Mark is gonna go for the dirty. Yeah, he he will need an L though, but the L's not coming. He's gonna bail out L King one piece too late. Yeah, the lead for Scooty is getting a bit closer and closer. Dirty chat here for Scooty now. Fifty-six thousand points out of Mark. That's <laughs> about uh, two chat and some change. So yeah, Mark stays in the game, but he needs to get the points. Okay, let's see if I me. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong, uh, but he's asking what are the percentages and graphs in the at the bottom. So at the bottom, you will see first the Tetris rate, which is the amount of Tetris. Well, compared to the amount of lines burned in the game, and at the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. Is the board state or yeah, it's pretty much the board state and the scoring for each. Mm -hmm. I don't never mind. That's a graph. This is just a, a plot for the Tetris rate. My bad. That's a plot for Tetris yeah, rate. Tetris so, rate over time. Yeah. And 
Yeah, it's good. He's just having a very high efficiency gain, not giving any chances to you, Mark. Mark just needs to up his ante and start uh, getting those tattoos in. That's 130,000 points, as you said. But Scooty now needs to earn a couple of lines, and every line that Scooty needs to burn is a line that Mark can use to catch up. And honestly, 100,000 points, it's, it's something that you can catch up if Scooty doesn't really get a cleaner state of the board soon. Scooty now a dirty tattoo is ready. He waits for the long bar, but there's the draw out. 15, 16 pieces. There's the long bar for Scooty. And I think Mark got the long bar as well. So we will. No, no, that's the draw here for Mark. Really, Scooty is that far ahead in the piece sequence? That's really far ahead. And a dirty tattoo is slow for from yeah. Scooty. Scooty just spends his lead to almost 100,000 points. No. Mark is trying to keep up with this wrong game from Scooty. And next I receive for Scooty, 120,000 points here for a split second. Scooty has a couple of lines more, so it's like 80,000 points if you take the oh, dispensation. Teaspoon, teaspoon set up for Mark, gets the teaspoon and gets the spin. And yeah, Scooty is still not completely clean. He's still like cleaning up his board a bit. But he's over 100,000 points set, so I don't see how there should be any uh, big issue in his board soon. Yeah, what do you need? I am just looking. Mm -hmm. For what? You can do it on your phone. What is it? It's distracting when you are next to me. Oh, this is the first step. Okay, so let's move on here to the commentary. We have some digging from Scooty. He's running into some issues. That's going to slow him down just a bit. Hopefully that will help uh, Mark catch up as well. Because he is doing so. Getting another Tetris. Reason the gap to just uh, three Tetrises. Yeah, so... <clears throat> when Mark is behind, he is in the... He can get Tetrises, unlike Scooty couldn't get a, get a couple of Tetrises here. Um, due to the board state, but Scooty is now Tetris ready and cut him three. The Mark got the Tetris. And Scooty is waiting for the long bar. There's the long bar for Scooty. Tetris for Scooty. 49 for Scooty. 413 here for Mark. So it's about a 76,000 point lead here for Scooty. Next Tetris for Mark. Double for Scooty. Scooty now in the standard right well setup. Is now Tetris ready. Mark is not so. Scooty can use the next long bar. And so can Mark now. There's the long bar for Mark and Tetris for Mark. Mark doing some nice recovery here, just the Tetris and change. Yeah, it's really close. And he's about to just reduce it to less than that. And one more Tetris possible here for Scooty in level 18. One more Tetris possible here for Mark. Scooty didn't get the Tetris. Mark, one more Tetris or th uh, where he can get three points in total, like three singles. Scooty is on level 19. Tetris here for Scooty. Mark is needing the long bar. There's the long bar for Mark. Mark gets the long bar. Down to 60,000 points. The transition lead, I think, was uh, actually in favor of Mark now. Next set was here, now for Mark. Uh, ne and next set was here for Mark. Next set was Scooty, the simul Tetris. Only Tetris and a half ahead of Scooty, so Mark really getting close here. A uh, couple of lines that Mark needs to burn. Mark is now open again and goes for the Tetris readiness. Scooty is not ready. Uh, he needs yeah, an open or something to tuck. Squirt, and gets it perfectly. Tetris is ready at 620. Tetris for Mark though. Still, and I believe that Mark has the pace lead or almost there. It's, it, it, we're like pace wise like neck and neck. Uh, it, it's really close. Like it's about two Tetrises in points and two Tetrises in uh, lines. So next Tetris here for Mark. Down to 43,000 points. That Tetris here for Scooty. Up to 70,000 points. And we are waiting for the long bus here for Mark. Mark is staying clean. Scooty needs to uh, set up his Tetris well. He is now set up for the Tetris well. Te uh, drought and Tetris. Tetris down to 63,000 points. The difference here. Small move of Mark here from the pink Z piece. Which is going to take some clean up. Scooty in the meanwhile is still clean. And he's waiting for the long bar for the next Tetris. Mark gets the long bar over and gets another triple here. Next Tetris for Scooty. Lead is up to 85,000 points. The next Tetris for Scooty. Lead is again above 100,000 points. Mark goes for the dirty Tetris now. As uh, Tetris ready is waiting for the long bar. The long bar should come any second. Next Tetris here for Scooty. Next Tetris for Mark. Lead 110,000 points. And we're at level 24. So we have about four more levels to go on level uh, 19 speed. Scooty needs to clean that couple of lines. It's about a Tetris. So Mark can theoretically close the lead gap a bit. So far, we are looking at Mark doing a good job to from what he was facing, but like the scores are getting larger as this place become bigger scoring, especially for Tetrises. So the numbers uh, showing the gap get bigger, even though mm. they are trying to keep the same efficiency. Yeah, 
And as you can see, next title here for Scooty, 150,000 points. Another title here for Scooty, Mark in the meanwhile, just having a bit of glory, just needed the burns. Which means Scooty now nearly 200,000 points ahead of Mark. Next title here for Scooty, and we have a 200,000 point lead there for a second. But if we look at the levels, we can see Scooty level 27, level 26 for um, Mark, or oh, you know, 219 and 208 points. So, Danny. Uh, uh, Mark is from Germany. Yes, Mark is one of the most famous German players, I would say. Um, he is, for example, the guy who did the first uh, 19 5. And oh, we are approaching the kill screen. Yeah, Max out for Scooty. Scooty wants the next long bar. Long bar for Scooty. And one more line for Scooty, and he is on level 29. There's and level there 29. Go. And Tetris on level 29 for Scooty. Tetris for Mark on level 18. Scooty, 240,000 points out of Mark. Scooty at the bottom, really nice uh, 29 transition here for Scooty. But Mark, level 28, 250,000 points behind Mark. Uh, behind Scooty, Scooty going f for the Tetris. Yes, yeah, Scooty goes for the Tetris. But so does Mark. Mark, level 29, 370,000 points. Mark gets the Tetris. Both players clean. Oh. 12 missiles of Mark. He needs a long bar for Kadam 2. Mark's get the long bar in Kadam 2. And that's really high for Mark. That's probably it for Mark. Yeah, that's a double for Mark. Someone. Stopping out. Yeah, that's all for Mark. Oh, Scooby. Really swift. Advances into the final. So, Scooty. Mark with a very good run. Not yet. We'll be seeing him soon for the third place match still. So. Yeah, we are just looking for Scooty to see what he can do. He deserves this victory round. It's 1.3. He has until level 39 to go. It could be. Could be 1.5 maybe, depending if he gets uh, maybe a Tetris in. Yeah, 1.4 now for Scooty. It's 100,000 points for him to go for the 1.5. He could even get a 1.6. Yeah, 1.45 now. And this is the reason we're having line camps, everybody, because otherwise I know Scooty will, will play forever with um, this kind of. Uh, yeah. And we know that Scooty can play forever. We saw him get the crash, so he can, could play for like half an hour, an hour straight. 1.5 now for Scooty, he has a couple of levels left to go. He is now in level 37, so level 37 and 38 could be the 1.6, the first 1.6 of the tournament. The closest we saw was uh, Dan and Will with a 1.596 in the qualification. One more Tetris here for Scooty, maybe. He goes for the Tetris, he needs the long bar soon. Oh, he doesn't get the long bar. No, okay, oh no. And with that, the highest score at the CTOC front still as at Dan V's. Go for it. Let's go for it. And which language should we do it? Do you know Spanish? Let's go for German. Okay, do you know German? Just a bit. I mean, drei, zwei, eins. Yeah, drei, yeah. Okay, perfect. So let's do it. Drei, zwei, eins, Tetris. That was about as good as my French, so. Oh! <laughs> and if one fox already in the lead with the 11 uh, push down points. And Tetris for both of them, Samuel Tetris. Yeah, F1 just going for his signature push down points to get that bit of an edge. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can always matter if you top out early and have the same points, for example. But yeah. Next set is here for one fox, then V going a bit more. Um, Hilly, I would say, you know, he... Next set was here, and bits for Dan V. Small OPs that he couldn't really place anywhere better for Dan V, so... The Ooh. early lead is probably at F1 prox, depending on when the next long bar comes. We have a drought of like 17 pieces and just one piece too late for the long bar. F1 prox couldn't use it, there's next long bar and Tetris for F1 prox. And now Tetris for Dan V, but we have a one Tetris lead here for F1 Fox, so the early lead goes to F1 Fox. Next Tetris for Dan V, F1 Fox Tetris ready, waiting for the long bar. Dan V, not Tetris ready, waiting for the Tetris readiness and then the long bar. It's gonna be like an O piece, this would be the best case. Yeah, he wants the O piece at this point, yeah, it's tough to wait even longer. But there's the drought, 16, 17, 18, 19 pieces. And I see how long the drought will be in the end, it's 23 pieces, Tetris for F1 Fox and no Tetris for Dan V. Dan V was close yeah. again. We have now a 30k lead here for F1 Prox. Next Tetris for F1 Prox and Tetris for Dan V. 
Yeah, F1 is having a good start so far, taking it easy. But you have to be careful when Dan starts like push, pushing on that efficiency he's known for. Mm -hmm. Ben yeah, uh, is very well known of getting out of difficult situations and then pushing through, so you cannot sleep on him. Yeah, like a small, like most of everything that can happen even to Dan V, um, and that's what we saw earlier. But from this point onwards, I feel like Dan V is not really gonna show any bigger falls. Like even here, he's just setting up the dirty Tetris, I think. Oh no, he's no longer. But yeah, now 44 KD here for F1 Prox. And next set is here for F1 Prox and Tetris for Dan V, F1 Prox Tetris, but again waiting for the long bar, there's long bar and Tetris for F1. Yeah, F1 is just maintaining the lead and expanding further, approaching 3 Tetris's lead now, but Dan V is much clearer now and trying to reduce the gap. 2 Tetris lead so far for F1 right now as Dan V is Working his way out of the snacks that he had earlier. Yeah, and it's still the DT here for F1 Prox. Next set is for F1 Prox. T, Tuck set up for example, or Espen set up here for... Um, Dan V, I think he missed the spin there. <laughs> <laughs> the good old Tugi spin as Tony just said. And next dirty title is here for Dan V. Dan V, still behind but the same points. And F1 Prox, so F1 Prox can't really push any further than he currently has. Next triple here for Dan V. F1 Prox opened with the next tech twist. Now 60 KD tier for F1 Prox. Dan V now open again, probably going for the Tetrises here. And has a weird Dan dependency v. like the Canon 1 LP is, uh, JP is. Yeah, right next now... set is for F1 Prox, Tetris for Dan V. Yeah, right now the MV set up for several talks, very specific pieces, but mm, he's waiting on that Z spin gets it, and now he starts building around it. He could go for a fake Vitz, and he's gonna go for the actual Vitz and the setup and the talk. Yeah, and that's... there's a Tetris, so still at uh, two Tetris lead for F1. F1 doing a pretty good job keeping up with Dan V, but the, the real challenge will come soon as these players are approaching 100 lines. Yeah, but as you know, 19. I would say it's the sweet spot for a chat part, generally speaking, because that's when they can show off how good tapping is, where against the roller not as good, but you know what I mean? And 29 is, generally speaking, a bit too far. I saw F1 Prox play a bit of uh, level 29 earlier, so uh, he is not going to be out immediately, but he won't survive as long as Gen V. So even if the 36k here stays the same until the transition to level 29, I believe that it should be quite doable for Dan V to catch up on level 29. Doogie so, asking F1 Prox versus F1 Champion when? That will be an interesting matchup for the European folk. It would be. Next set is for both of them. We are still at the 43k difference we saw earlier. And yeah, we are Hello, slowly but surely getting in. close to the transition. It's about four headwaters that they can still do. Tetris for both of them, 121, 129. So yeah, three yeah. Tetrises and no burn potential for Dan V. F1 Prox could burn a single. Uh, uh, they haven't updated the name, my name on the commentary. Oh, true, true. Yeah. Uh, so this, uh, I do everything. I do the stream with the commentators. <laughs> it's, uh, it's and yeah, which uh, which chart? So it's, I think you should be now in the left commentator. But because the white commentator is like tech stuff, I'm just gonna put myself because I'm doing all the tech stuff at this moment. Okay. Yeah, so in the commentary it is me, Jakob, and Richard. Oh, transition has come, and actually F1 maintains the lead throughout. 591 for F1, 575 for the Envy. So let's see how things progress throughout these higher speeds because the F1 will have to keep up with efficiency and high scores yeah. to keep the game alive. Dan V now open again, good, good go for the next set twist, whereas F1 Prox is still a bit dirty here and needs to do some dig up. Uh, digging, so it looks like Dan V could get the lead to next set here for Dan V. Dan V in the lead, 6000 point lead here for Dan V. Both players now on level 21. And neither Ted was ready, Dan V waiting for the Ted was readiness. Is Ted was ready, now waiting for the long bar. F1 Prox is open, generally, but can only go for the Tetris because F1 he has a single hold. It's really high, he gets Ooh. the long bar over! 
triple for F1 Fox. Then we were still waiting for the long bar for the Tetris oh, here. No, and that's it for F1 Fox. He doesn't get the jab. He's over to the left. Hang on. Yeah. That was a close one. That was very close. Pretty much, Dan had to get a couple burns to actually win this before, uh, after uh, F1 topped out. I would just do everything. So, GG is to uh, Dan V in F1 Fox. F1 Fox put really good pressure on Dan V most of the game until he had like one mistrop in level 19 that cost him essentially the game. But he has at minimum three more chances. I saw the thumbs up, so let's start the next game between, between Dan V and F1 Fox in three, two, two one, one, Tetris. Tetris. So for the next time you teach me Spanish, yeah, like sure. teach one in Spanish. Thank you. Okay, 12 push on points here again for F1 Fox. F1 Fox nearly having wit set up. And F1 Tetris F1 for F1 Tetris. Fox. Dan V now Tetris ready, waits for the long bar. And that's the long bar for Dan V, Tetris for Dan V. Both players about the same height. And F1 Fox now Tetris ready, gets the long bar in Tetris. Dan V was not Tetris ready, so he's now Tetris blind for some uh, time. Has to burn at least a single double there. And next Tetris here for F1 Fox. But Dan V may be going dirty now. Uh, yeah, next Tetris now here for Dan V. We have a 3k lead here for Dan V. He is played uh, former line, so pace wise, the lead is definitely on F1 Fox's side for now. Well, our second game underway, and F1 has started with the lead already. Yep, we bought we'll it see if we can maintain and expand it. But here's the next Tetris for Dan V. The next Tetris here for F1 Fox. Uh, Dan V is rolling, F1 Fox is tapping. Yeah. Then uh, neither is Tetris ready. Uh, Dan V is close to being Tetris ready. Witz and Tetris readiness here for Dan V. Dan V needs one more long bar for the Tetris. Uh, so there's F1 Fox, Tetris for Dan V. And now also Tetris for F1 Fox. Dan V is Tetris ready. F1 Fox is no longer Tetris ready. He had to close the well. And there's the Tetris for Dan V. And there's the triple for F1 Fox. Which means that if one Pox still is only triple or Tetris ready, whereas Dan V just got the next Tetris and it's now a 40k lead here for Dan V. Yeah. Next Tetris setup here for Dan V. If one Pox goes for the dirty here, waiting for the long bar, and he wants the long bar soon because if you're dirty, you don't want to go even higher. So just as a reminder, uh, Dan V is a roller while F1 is a tapper. F1 is the last remaining tapper in the tournament. You can say the last tapper, the last Frenchman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Dan, F1 is now being pretty high. He needs a number for the white side. He goes for the safety single double burns here. And is now open on the right side. He gets the nice lumber. He needs the next um, L piece for the left side. He gets an L piece. Really nice. Burns here. And is now open again and could go for the dirty Tetris. He needs the next long bar soon. Is now Tetris ready, gets the dirty Tetris for F1 Fox. And we are now at 55, 53k lead here for Dan V. It looks like F1 Fox might go for the dirty left well. He decides against the dirty left well. That could go for a dirty Cardam 5 Tetris. He goes for the dirty Cardam 5 Tetris, gets the Tetris. And then V gets his own Tetris. 55k lead here for Dan V at the same lines. We're halfway through level 18, so... Yeah, pretty good level 18 lead here for Dan V. He had the lead for quite some time now. F1 Fox finally at the bottom again. It goes for the central Tetris, gets the next Tetris, and it's Tetris for F1 Fox. And finally, the standard right well setup here for F1 Fox. Oh, nice adjustment for the square there, and then is about three Tetris in the lead, but F1 trying his best to adjust the gap again because he knows that the MV is gonna just go up the aggression to avoid any chances for his opponents. Right, and V could go much more aggressive than he currently is. He's probably like pretty chill because he knows he's like two Tetris ahead, so he doesn't, you know, have to go all the way. But yeah, both players are Tetris ready now. Small draw, 20 pieces, Tetris for Dan V. And also soon Tetris for F1 Prox. F1 Prox waiting for the long bar. That gets the long bar a bit too late. Oh, he's currently F1. close, which means that he's in a bit of trouble here. He needs to burn. 
He is now open again, is waiting for the next long one for the Tetris, Tetris 4, then we, so we should see the next Tetris for F1 box hopefully soon. Again, he had to close the way just right before the long bar. And Great. now, more digging here for F1 box as he just got dirty again. F1 box needs an LJ piece. He had to close the LJ dependency, it's gonna be an even tougher position oh, from nice now. He needs the next there. L piece for the dependency. He gets the next L piece, is open, and Tetris for then V. Next long bar for F1 Fox, hopefully it doesn't need much longer. There's the Tetris for F1 Fox. But F1 Fox over 100,000 points here behind Dan V. It's 107k lead here for Dan V. Next Tetris for Dan, Dan V up to 130k lead here. F1 Fox finally open, low and clean. He gets, gets the next long bar, gets the text, Tetris. And we are just less than 20 lines away from the level 90 position. Both players can get about, yeah, exactly 19. four more Tetris mm -hmm. here for before the level 19 transition. Tetris readiness in the center here for uh, Dan V. F1 Fox on the center, the right wall setup here. Had to close as well for a second, didn't cost him a Tetris. Dan V waiting for the long bar here with a 25 piece drought. How long will it be? That's it's quite dangerous here for Dan V. This late uh, before the transition. 34, 35 pieces, the longest new drought. Both players need to survive and get to be, stay clean. Then we a bit dirty gets a triple here. 41 piece wow, that is really long. And transition for Dan V. 4 and 8. Uh, 4 and 8 and transition Tetris here for Dan V. Transition one more line away here for Firefox and 530. So we have a 68k transition lead here for Dan V. Next Tetris for one box. Both players clean. Next Tetris here for Dan V. If one box not really Tetris ready, he needs something like a cheap piece. He needs a couple of lines, needs the spin. He misses the SP spin! Which means that he now needs to um, clean his tech up. He needs to get open. He is open, perfect. And is waiting for the long bar, whereas Dan V is just running ahead. 116k lead, now 140k lead here for Dan V. Next set was for F1 Fox. F1 Fox having played one tet was less in lines, means that the lead is a bit less than 100k. Next set is here for F1 Fox. Next tet was for Dan V. But Dan yeah. V is still in the lead, of course. F yeah, F1 right now is, is his goal is just get to get as many statues as he can because the score difference became pretty high, especially as I mean even though they're separated by yeah, there's still lines actually. The score difference tells the story of uh Tetris 160k. Yeah. The uh, Tet Tetris difference approaching five Tetrises, so lots of work to do here from F1. Mm. F1 just need to focus on just getting the Tetrises and nothing else as he, possible. He had and so much time during the level 8 and we couldn't go for any Tetrises and we can really see it in the score and Tetris difference. The score difference is nearly 200,000 points now. Yeah, that's gonna be a really tough fight for F1 Prox. He needs Dan V to top out soon because I don't think that you can get 200,000 points back on the last 5 levels of 28 if your opponent gets a couple of Tetrises as well. 200k lead here for Dan V. The lead is feels like it's getting bigger and bigger. Both players Tetris ready, Tetris for F1 Frogs. Dan V waiting for the long bar, small router. He can't get the long uh, use the long bar. Tetris readiness now for F1 Fox. If F1 Fox can use the same long bar that Dan V just missed, he is down to about 150k lead. Next Tetris here for Dan V. Next Tetris here for F1 Fox. 176k lead. But if one box has played eight lines, so two Tetris is less than oh, Dan F1 V has. Trouble F1 left side looking very unreachable. Yeah, he gets the long bar, gets the long bar over really nice. He now needs something for the right side to burn. He puts something on top because he couldn't get the burns. He needs something Three for the left bar. side. He doesn't get the long piece over. Oh. But I feel like he didn't want to get the long bar over. Uh, so we can now see that F1 Fox, yeah, 200,000 points. But he is low, he is clean mostly. He can nice go for the dirty Tetris. From the end. Nice, dirty Tetris, one high here for F1 Fox. F1 Fox already tapped the wet uh, Z piece there. And that's gonna be some more digging he has to do. 170k lead here for Dan V. And Dan V, 206k. Will soon have the max out. At this point, it's pretty much Dan's game, unless uh, F1 pulls out some crazy 29 miracle. Yeah, but he needs to catch up like 200,000 points in level 29. Dan V now level 29. And we know Dan V can also play. Level 29, pretty nice, pretty good, and I feel like Dan, uh, sorry, F1 Fox's bot is not level 29 ready, not for a tapper, yeah he doesn't get the 
JP's uh, over to the desk. That's the top out for what? One box and the two. Oh, for then we. Everyone. Therefore, that means it starts strong, but unfortunately, Five. it looks like 19 has been challenging. I feel like Denvi is going for the 1 5, maybe even 1 6 to get the uh, highest score of the tournament again, like the second. Let's see if my Dan manages to get a high one. He's currently at 1.1, so he will require some strong play to, to get higher higher scores he's gonna go for the taps in column four but block the well so he has to wait for yet another lumbar and the lumbar unfortunately not being well timed he's done at 1.1 uh we're gonna have a game number three coming up what did you say? We're having game number three coming up. Yes, okay. I was assuming something like number when Evan was mentioned. Okay. Yeah, uh, Switch had said game number three coming up. Then we drinking a bit, you know, you need to drink and stay calm. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but it looks like then we is getting ready to play the next game. So. They are doing the seed stuff. And it's just gonna be. Thumbs up for us to start the next game. We have the thumbs up from Dan V. So let's ca count down the next game in Spanish. I need you. All right. Input. Let's go for it. Uh, what's Spanish? And what tres dos uno. Tres dos uno. Tres dos uno. I can do that. Okay. So tres, tres dos uno. uno. Tres. And for the audience, if you speak any other languages, feel free to just come over and do the counter in your native language with us. I think we should go for Italian next. It's, yeah, Italian people are here, so maybe Arden or Hyakutado, if you want, you can do the next countdown with us. Vamos. The Japanese, yeah. Sanichi. Sanichi. I know Japanese. Okay, so anyways, we have the game 1 to the team beginning for F1 box. Dan. That was for Dan V, so yeah, this is Dan V with a long bar up there. Oh, yeah. And line spin. I, I feel like that long bar and kind of two on top of the AP was a bit of a meme from Dan V. Yeah, he he was like the, giving a gesture to to Kingsman watching. Mm -hmm. So King was, some kings were there to for the entertainment of the public here. Oh yeah, and from R seventy five, he uh, he can do it with us in Irish. That would be also pretty fun. Yeah, but let's focus on the game here. We have about a 1k lead currently for Dan V. Yeah, and Crespo knows them all for real. And next Tetris here for Dan V and for uh, F1 Fox. One Fox having the nice L tuck set up there. That's right, right. In Star Tris. Next Tetris for Dan V. Next Tetris for F1 Fox. So far, pretty clean game. Both players have a nice eighty percent Tetris weight. From F1. Next set is for Dan V. F1 Fox waiting for the long bug. As the long bug, as the Tetris for uh, F1 Fox. Then V Tetris ready, waiting for the long bar. F1 Fox Tetris ready, waiting for the long bar as well. And Tetris for Dan V. So we should soon have the Tetris for F1 Fox. <laughs> oh, Dan doing this again. again? Yeah. He just wants to space up things. He just doesn't want to have it easy. <laughs> but he should not take this game too easy because uh, Van Fox is a really good player. And uh, yeah, Dan's gonna go for the column 3 Tetris. Yeah, and he gets a Tetris for Dan V. Uh, Van Fox gets the next Tetris, and you have another L Tuck set up there for Dan V. Let's see if he gets the LPs. No, he doesn't even get the JP's tuck. She's were on their way to Scullum 2. Yeah, pretty much the five type, the, the five tap uh, play from Danby can be dangerous if it can be put him in danger. That is what I mean to say. Hmm. If he misses these on level 19. Dan V is currently in the lead at 268. Very slim difference here at 266 with F1. And they have some old Tetris, so pretty much 2,270 uh, 2, points. Yeah, it's neck which, and neck. Yeah, pretty much a, tet, a, tet, a double and a single score wise. Now, now spray by a single, pretty much. Yeah, but I think F1 Fox got his starting push on points again, so it's. 
bit less than a singer. Um, we got... Next set was here for Den V. Next trip, yeah. I think it was here for F1. Proc 15k lead now for Den V. The is slowly increasing again. Yeah. Uh, Den V going for the dirty here. No, he decides against the dirty. He goes a bit safer. As we have a small drought here of 15, 16, 17 pieces. And there's a long buff for Den V. And there's a long buff for F1 Pox. F1 Pox getting the Tetris. And uh, it's a small lead here for a short time for F1 Pox. Same piece, uh, same lines. And it was a 17k lead here just for Den V. So Den V having. Less than a single Tetris lead here currently, needs to win a couple of lines here. And we have a small drought, 14, 15, 16 pieces. Let's see how long this drought will be. It's gonna oh, be a really decent dangerous. long, yeah, 23 piece drought. And there was the Tetris for Den V. And we will probably see the Tetris for F1 Prox as well. Den V Tetris ready, F1 Prox closed as well and needs to open it in a couple of burns here. Oh, very rough missile there for the Dan V with the J. But he's already stacked low enough, but F1 is also getting himself in some, some trouble. So neither player in scoring position right now. We yeah, got... One Fox spot is a bit troublesome, I would say, because he can't really have many easy cleans. So it's gonna be like, yeah, long by there, which is just gonna increase the amount of time he needs for digging. And Dan V now two Tetris ahead. And we are getting close to the level 19 transition. Next set is for Dan V. Next set was here for F1 Prox. 40k lead here for Dan V. F1 Prox trying to get the Tetris setup. Has the Tetris setup just waiting for the long bar. Dan V gets the next long bar and gets the Tetris. 64k lead here for Dan V. F1 Prox getting high again. Gets the Tetris and now wants a JPs here for the tuck or maybe a spin. He gets the JPs for the tuck. Gets the next TPs. Gets the Tetris. Tetris for F1 Prox. Tetris for Dan V. Five more lines for Dan V, seven more lines for F1 Prox, so Dan V can go for one more Tetris, and F1 Prox can go for one more Tetris. We have a 42k lead for Dan V currently. Session is coming in the next Tetris, and both players are ready for it. Tetris for F1, F1 he transitioned at 521. So 521, keep that in mind. And Dan V, really, really waiting for the long bar. He wears the long bar. We have the drought now. Ooh, this drought could be pretty dangerous for Dan V, but no, there's the long bar. We have a, had a 540 transition, so it's about a 20k transition lead here for Dan V. Next set was for F1 Fox now. Uh, F1 just focused on trying to maintain efficiency and overcome. Oh, uh, Dan V with the cover of mist up there. The TPs should have gone one more to the left, so he needs some digging there, some cleanup. Nice line spin there for Dan V to clean up a little bit, give things compact. F1 Fox misses the spin, down. so he now also has to clean up a bit. Unfortunately for the F1, that was a missed opportunity as Dan was slowing down and that would have been a golden opportunity for F1. But F1 is doing a good job going back to Tetris readiness. He's ready now at 6.06. Uh, but he blocked the well as the lumber came, so he has to wait for yet another. Oh, missed opportunity for a burn there. Yeah, Dan like... V now got a Tetris. So Dan V now pushing the pressure up again. And oh, uh, F1 F1 trying not to getting the pieces he needs. He's really high now. He needs the long bar for kind of. No, he just puts oh, the no, shape inside. And that dire. is something. He does get the long bar over! And F1 Prox still in the game. F1 is staying alive here. And we got Dan just still maintaining a lead of just over a Tetris. So F1 Prox needs to get out of this. F1 Prox slowly cleaning up. He is now open again. He's waiting for the long bar. But he's 64k behind Dan V. Then V oh, does miss spin the uh, JPs. Okay, but then V is in the clearing up process. Oh, now no, he miss the, the next end as well. This is pretty oh. dangerous now for Dan V up there, but he gets the pay. He does the pieces he needs. Dan V. Dan V is in the yeah, but he gets some nice pieces here now for the burns. He needs something for the left side. He gets the JPs. Ooh, this that was really nice cleaning up here for Dan V. That was a roller moment. F1 is then still very Then we up the well and pushing. got the Tetris here. He's now 69,000 points ahead of F1 Fox. F1 Fox is Tetris ready. Gets the long bar, but had to close as well. And it looks like F1 still trying to catch up to Dan V. F1 going a bit aggressive, but this is going to cause him some slowdown. Oh! Missed 5 tap there from F1. F1 and the lead is now 100k left. for Dan V. F1 is gonna go. Oh, misflipped. Yeah. This is getting dangerous. And it left one over. over. But now at 100, 120,000 points support. 
if one needs to hope for an early top, or well, early... Yeah. And it might happen, because then V-Sport gets worse and worse, he's waiting for the long bus stuff. Here, the drought is really kidding both of them, I'd say, but... Oh, this is getting dangerous for both. And it looks like uh, both players are in a very rough situation, and F1 unable yep. to catch up. So then, taking game number three, already at match points. Very, very uh, strong force from F1. F1 is giving all the pressure to Danby to perform his best. But he is not putting enough pressure on Danby. Danby has won three games in a row. So this could be the last chance for F1 Pox to show that he, as well, can win this tournament. That he also has a chance to go to the final. So, match point for Dan V. Potentially the last chance for F1 Prox to go to the finals, depending how much pressure he can now put on Dan V. Let's see what will happen and if the players are ready. They are, I think, doing some camera stuff now. Uh, because we have the documentary happening. Yeah, okay. So we're waiting for them to finish. They're gonna adjust something for the camera, and looks like it's. Okay. Um, yeah, they are doing some camera stuff, but you know, you've now been seeing the semi finals. So, what's your impression of the players so far that we saw? My what, sorry? We have nearly potentially finished the semi finals. So, while we wait for the players to get ready and the uh, documentary, what's like your impression of the players in the semi finals? I mean, I think that uh, of all the players I've seen, um, because we just had Scooty versus. Mark, I think the highlights, I mean, I think that everybody was expecting to have um, Danvi and Scooty in the final, but I feel that the, at least the other top, the rest of the top four were a bit of a toss up. Mm -hmm. And it was actually a great surprise to have Mark and, and F1 up there because I don't think anybody was thinking of them like as their mm, top four players. I have to admit, I didn't see the full uh, stuff that you streamed earlier, but when we switched, like, Looked a bit at the last games when we finished the Scooty and TV yeah. matches in the top eight. Um, I saw Mark playing and I was like, oh, he has like won one game or so against uh, Mesos. And I was like, oh, yeah, he has a chance. And then he like actually reversed with him. That was uh, pretty hype. Okay, but I think we can see the next game between Dan V and F1 Fox. Yes, so let's start the match point for Dan V um, in Japanese. Okay. Just for the fun, it's San okay. Ni Ichi. 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 Okay. okay, so let's do it. San, San Ni Ichi, Ichi. Tetsudisu! <laughs> and yeah, we should do Italian next, I guess. Uh, if there's one next. <laughs> but, so far, uh, they're doing some exotic placements to keep, like, or burn less. That's, that's Dan's strategy. Dan just avoids birds from the start to get that initial pressure of having a, a lead. Okay, but the one with both of the was so it's not really any pressure, I would say, currently on uh, F1 Prox, except, of course, being 3 0 down. You know, that's huge pressure on uh, F1 Prox. But I think he can handle it. So far, it looks like the pressure doesn't really get to his nerves. I see pretty good placements here. Next cut is for Dan V. Then we now one Tetris ahead. F1 Prox waiting for the long bar. There's the long bar into the LP's dependency. Oh, and now we can see his tech having a bit oh. of trouble there. What's the matter? I'm not getting is that. Yeah, it's we're back, we're back, don't worry. It might be just some network limitation. I know that it's been happening for a bit. But what we can know for sure is that F1 is starting with a lead, a base slide, and it's going to be overtaken by Danvi now. Danvi has a very clean stack. Very... You can't really keep the lead if you have the stack that Fire F1 Fox has, where you have to burn and clean. At this point, we got Dan going for the Tetris to 169k now. And uh, F1 at 150, so not that far behind, less than a Tetris supporting the players. Yep, and next service here for Dan V, Dan V, V nearly 40k ahead of 
F1 Fox. And next set is here for then VF1 Fox building up his Tetris well. He is now Tetris ready, is waiting for the longbar there. So longbar for F1 Fox and Tetris for F1 Fox. We have 38k lead here for then V. Next set is for then V. F1 Fox setting up the Tetris well. Is Tetris ready. LJ dependency for then V. Fixes it with a long bar. Some nice adjustments there from FV to uh, fit the JPs better in. Dan, right now, starting to build a lead that is approaching four Tetris. So, yeah, it's about everyone just lead needs now. to up the efficiency if he wants to have that chance of staying alive in the tournament. Good set up here for one box for the fans, but he gets along by again one piece to date. So, coming up after the semi finals, we'll have the third place match. Yep, so... and whoever lo loses this. Uh, match will be there, so they, they are not out. They still have a chance to get the third place. And now Witz is ex oh. was accessible for F1 Fox. He will surely get to the Witz soon. Yeah, right there we get. Yeah. Uh, and F1 Fox can now go yeah. for the Witz. Yeah. He gets the long bar and Witz for F1 Fox. Next set is next. Simon Tetris here. 120k lead currently for Dan V. Next set was here for F1 Fox. So we have a 4 Tetris lead for Dan V. Then uh, F1 Fox is Tetris ready, gets the Tetris. Dan V is Tetris ready, is waiting for the long bar. And it looks like we are approaching a drought. Yep, 18p is drought now. Oh, that's a long drought. It's gonna be like maybe 30 pieces. 28, 29, 30, 31, 30. That's a long drought. 35 and a 36 piece drought. That's the odd. Uh, then we got out of it with the Tetris. Let's see if F1 Fox can do it as well. And there's the long band Tetris for Simon Tetris. Yeah, then maintaining a lead that is approaching uh, already four Tetrises. So F1 needs to watch out for this. That one yeah. needs to keep pushing for the Tetrises as well. We are now approaching 100 lines, so this is an important moment to be clean and efficient. Right now we got Dan at 477, going aggressive with that S placement. He's yep. gonna get yet another Tetris to 522, he doesn't want to give any chances. And F1 Prox only triple ready because he has a small hole in his tech. Triple for F1 Prox, Wits for Dan V. And then we also know the small hole in his tech. Tetris for both of them. 136 uh, KD here for Dan V. Yeah, this game is a bit uh, dangerous for, uh, for F1. F1 right mm. now at 410, falling behind quite a bit. And the board not in the best state to get Tetris. The time is running out as the transition is coming in eight in now fifteen lines. Yeah, about four Tetris he could do, but we can see his board. He's maybe can get one if you're lucky two Tetris in. Or he just transitions dirty. He goes for the dirty Tetris, maybe no, he decides against the dirty Tetris here. And then V is approaching the two hundred Ks now. One more Tetris possible here for Dan V. And, and Tetris F1. for F1 Fox. F uh, 600 k flat transition here for Dan V. 600 k F1 Fox maybe can get a Tetris here, but I don't think so. Yeah, no, not really Tetris. He really goes for the Tetris. That could cost him a lot of stack health. And now he now goes for the safety double. 450, so we have a 150 k transition lead here for Dan V. Next Tetris for Dan V. Next Tetris for Dan V. Now 200k lead here for Dan V, but if one Fox has played a couple of lines less than Dan V, if one Fox is now going for the center of Tetris, is waiting for the long bar. There's long bar for one Fox and Tetris and Tetris and another Tetris for one Fox. Lead 190k. If one Fox not Tetris ready, Dan V waiting for the long bar. Long bar for Dan V. Tetris readiness for one Fox and Dan V Tetris for one Fox. Both players up screen and getting Tetris is left and right, trying not to burn a, even a single line. Next Tetris for V. Uh, then we but then we needs two burns here to set up the Tetris well. It's now Tetris ready. F1 Fox needs to dig those two lines. He is now open again. Skim them. Next set is here for Dan V. Next set is here for F1 Fox. Lead is 190k. Next set is for Dan V. Then we going for the OP's tuck setup. And F1 Fox set was ready, waiting for the long bar. Uh, Dan V gets the line spin. That was a really, really nice line spin that he got there. And uh, good of him to see it. I'll yeah. I didn't see the lines in myself. <laughs> yeah, Dan, Dan knows how to put on a show. Yeah. Like, he knows 
what the people like to watch from him. And Small missile from F1, proxy over oh, that uh, Z piece in that could be it. He gets something over to the left side and is now really needing to burn here as many lines as he can. Mm. He needs to get as low as he can. And it looks like he gets the pieces for it. Yeah, that's another nice double here. F1 prox staying in the game for now. Gets the T spin set up. Does he get the T piece? He doesn't get the T piece. T piece. He gets the T piece and he gets the T piece and set up. Nice one Fox nearly open again. Titus here in the meanwhile. What and V? The lead for Denry has increased to 270k. Next set is for Denry. 300k lead for Denry. Really nice cleanup and survival from F1 Fox, though. We should not understand that, but he missed. He doesn't get the fodder for the JPs and, and F1 he's again like in a he's down tough position here. He gets the TPs over. He's still alive though. He's still alive oh, and he no. does get the next JPs he over. That's the top out for F1 Prox he and got the four. Oh, this time around four. from Danby. Congratulations, Danby. F1 just giving a pretty good showing, coming all the way to the semi-finals, being the best performing of the French player. Um, well. Fuck, is my mouse. Where do I get it over to the other, other three? Huh? Yes. Oh, I have it over. Okay, good. We are gonna have a small break, and we're looking forward to have our third place match. It will be.